there is a lot of mental cost um, to going into medicine that people often don't realize. And then the workplace itself, it's not perfect, as we all know. I came through the system that didn't allow for gender equity. I'm Wendy Chen. I'm an assistant professor of plastic and reconstructive surgery at Johns Hopkins University. I'm Mona Gohara. I'm an associate clinical professor of dermatology at Yale School of Medicine. My name is Dr. Jill Hessler. I'm a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. Two apple take one common mark. To become a physician, it really takes a lot of passion for both science, math, and all the STEM fields, excelling in those and wanting to be the best. I graduated from medical school in 2002, so 20 years. I've been a dermatologist for over 20 years. I graduated medical school in 2013, and then I trained for seven years. Going through residency, going through fellowship. There's no profession in the world where it's like smooth sailing. Understanding there's a real degree of self-sacrifice when you feel that you've fallen short. People come to you with all types of problems and sometimes there are clear solutions and pathways and sometimes there, there are not. It can be isolating, it can be lonely for a lot of people, but you just have to ask for help. I think all women have experienced gender discrimination because it's a systematized thing. There's no woman that hasn't experienced it because it's woven in the intricacies of medicine. Maybe colleagues around the hospital treat you differently. They don't respect you. They don't execute the things that you want executed in the way that you want them executed. Maybe you're called bossy um, when you're just being assertive. As women, we feel like we're the only one asking for more. Gosh, you keep asking for more, you're so demanding. And a demanding man seems, wow, that's great, he's assertive. And so we need to change our mindset around this, that these characteristics, these adjectives are actually favorable and not think of them negatively for women, but positively for men. I think people should be more selfish around where they focus their time. And they should focus it inward, how you love yourself, how you get through the adversity, and how you celebrate the successes. You know, the technical stuff, the knowledge stuff is teachable, but I think one of the most important things is to be somebody that, that really cares about people.